Well, tonight the Loudoun County government has brightened just a bit now that the county budget looks to be tamed. Yeah, officials were looking at a $20 million deficit, and now that number could end up being zero after budget cuts and a tax rate adjustment. Michael Gibson was at Commissioner's Court this morning for a budget workshop meeting where the DA's office talked about its plan, which includes raises for attorneys. And without them, I don't know what would happen to the crime rate. Um, they're that last line to stand up for victims. That was first assistant district attorney Angelica Hernandez speaking with 3 News after giving commissioner's court her department's budget. One that includes $180,000 in cuts. It also provides raises of seven to $10,000 per attorney. They deserve these pay group increases. We're still giving the reduction in the budget that they asked for, um, but this is something that I hope that commissioner's court will approve. One of those attorneys in the DA's office agreed that pay matters. We need high quality, good people working here. And until you start paying them the money they deserve, you're going to have a problem of, of leaving somewhere else to make more money. The district attorney's office still has 10 open prosecutor positions, part of the 201 vacancies in Nueces County government. Now, whether commissioner's court accepts the district attorney's office budget is not yet known, but Commissioner Brent Chesney believes the cuts offered by all county government departments has the overall budget numbers looking much better. And now we're probably in a you know five to ten million dollar budget deficit with the potential based on the actual numbers to come in at somewhere between zero and three and a half million. So we're we're in way better shape than we were. Commissioners will continue looking at the budget at its regular meeting on Wednesday. That's where it will vote on a tax rate ceiling, a number that can be lowered later on if needed. September 13th will be the final vote on that tax rate and of course the overall budget. Michael Gibson. 3 News.